guys, welcome back to my channel. I had not planned on uploading a video today, but I just got home from an appointment and the mail had come and this was on my doorstep. And I recognize this box because this is usually the box that I get my Shop Disney stuff from. And uh, I opened it up to see if what was inside is kind of what I was thinking was inside and I was right. It is my Park Pack 3.0 Disney limited edition pin subscription for the month of September. So I thought, you know, I'll just uh, open it up for you on camera because I want to see the pins and uh, get a little impromptu video up for you today. So as I said, I already opened up the big box and then there's a bunch of um, kind of packing stuff and also an invoice inside and here is the park pack for the month of September. Usually the park packs ship at the very end of the month so today is October 2nd that I'm filming this um, and that's actually pretty fast delivery for me here in Minnesota to be getting my park pack. I've had some issues with the shipping in the past but um, this one I actually got in a decent amount of time. Anyway, the park pack comes in this little sleeve, little protective sleeve, and then you slide it out and you see the fancy park pack box inside. I've seen a couple hints and spoilers online about what the movie theme is for this month's park pack, um, but I actually haven't seen any of the pins up close. I might have maybe caught a glimpse of one of them on Instagram or something, but I, re I really haven't seen these. If it's the movie that I think it is, I'm pretty excited because while it is a very underrated Disney movie, it's actually one of my all-time favorites. So let me me open up this box and see if I'm right. Yes, yes I am and I'm really excited about this. I have a feeling that some people are going to be disappointed um, in this month's theme, but I love this. I already can tell you that I'm going to keep all three of these pins. And here they are. This month's theme is The Sword and the Stone, which is based on the King Arthur legend. I absolutely love this movie. I grew up watching this. I feel like I know the whole thing by heart. It's some of my favorite Disney characters ever. So I am honestly thrilled to have three pins from this movie. I'm going to remove all three pins from the box and show you a close-up of each one and also check out which uh, which variants I got because there's three different variants of, of each of the three pins. So here is the first pin of the set. I absolutely love it. It's a pin-on-pin -pin design and it features the villain from this movie who is the magnificent, marvelous, Mad Madam Mim in her dragon form. So she, usually she's like a little witchy lady, but they have this wizard's duel and she changes herself into all kinds of animals and critters, including this uh, purple dragon with spots. Um, and I love this. I don't know what the different variants of this pin look like, but according to the back of this pin, it is variant number one of three. And I'm guessing maybe something with the color of her is what changes up. But I, I love this pin. She is one of my favorite Disney villains and I am keeping this one for sure. I'm probably going to put this on my Halloween pin board this week. The second pin in the set is the framed pin. That one is always centered in the box that it arrives in. And this features a frame of kind of the King Arthur castle exterior with the sword and the stone on one side. And you've got Archimedes on the other side. And Archimedes is one of my favorite Disney sidekick characters ever. He is hilarious. He is the sassiest, most curmudgeon-y little bird. I'm obsessed with him and I'm so glad he's on this pin. And then the variable uh, in this pin is the scene that is featured in the center. So I have Merlin the wizard and then Madame Mim in her witch form and she's um, honking Merlin's nose. So I completely love this pin as well. According to the back of this pin, this is variant number two of three. I'm very curious to see which other two scenes they chose to feature. And the third and final pin in this series is always the stained glass pin. So the non-stained glass pin features Merlin and he's kind of cleaning and organizing or maybe it's when he's packing by magic so you can see all of his books and his little carpet bag down there. And then the stained glass piece is a little bit hard to see. Let me put a background behind this. There you go. I hope that makes it a little bit easier to see what is in the stained glass portion, but it is Merlin as a squirrel and the young King Arthur as a squirrel and it's from the um to and fro, what makes the world go round scene of the movie. And I love the whole movie. It's such a great like coming of age movie based on um, Arthurian legend. It's, it's amazing. And according to the back of this pin, this is variant number two of three as well. I'll be very curious to see what the other ones are. That is it for this month's Park Pack 3.0 pin subscription. I'm probably in the minority here, but this one was definitely one of my personal favorites. Huge fan of that movie. Definitely doesn't get enough love, in my opinion. If you've never watched it, go and watch it. It's really adorable. The characters are great, especially Archimedes the Owl. So if I had to pick a favorite pin of the three, it's that framed one in the center because it features Archimedes the Owl, and I just... 
I love him. He's so funny. I should mention that each of the pins in the 3.0 version of Park Pack is limited edition of 500, and there are three variants of each, so there are basically 1,500 Park Pack subscriptions floating around out there, and it's very often sold out, but if you stock shopdisney.com, sometimes people cancel and you can kind of jump in and, and get subscribed. So I will leave a link to the Park Pack uh, piece of shopdisney.com below. You can stock it and, um, and hopefully get on there. If you are looking for these specific pins, I would watch eBay and some Facebook and Instagram because I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be unloading their Sword in the Stone pins, but not me because I love that movie. Go watch it, go watch it, go watch it. Okay, that's it for this little mini impromptu pin mail video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, let me know which pin was your favorite. I'll be back soon with more planned Disney content for you. Until then, I hope you're having a magical day and I'll see you real soon. Bye guys. Only a touch, I have the power. Zins and Rimbim, you wither a flower. I find delight in the gruesome and grim, cause I'm the best.